I'm showing y'all this just to let y'all know. This is Netflix. You know what I'm saying? Not for me. I like. I love. Enjoying this? Question mark. Rating this helps us know if we should recommend more like this. So the fact that you have to like it, love it, or dislike it lets you know that it puts more shit in the recommended. No different than my fucking YouTube. The simple like is what gets you the views. Listen, before this video start, before this video start, before the video start, listen. So for all my parents, you know what I'm saying? All my parents, um, everybody that watch got kids, you know what I'm saying? We posted our first video for Ayana and Amaya. Um the YouTube channel is called Boss Kids, but it's still gonna pop up as Club Wheezy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you already subscribe to Club Wheezy, then all you gotta do is go over there. This channel is not about me. This channel is about Ayana and Amaya, Chink Chink and Baby Maya. This channel is not about me. I'm in the video because cause I have to be in the video, but this is not a video for me. So I'm letting people know this is a children video. This is, these are children videos. These, the videos will be about kids. So if y'all got kids and y'all want to see if y'all kids like the content, go subscribe. I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's going. It, it pops up on the club Weezy, but the name is Balls Kids. But when you change the names, it takes uh it take YouTube a couple days for the shit to pop up. You know what I'm saying? So for everybody that got kids, um my my. Ching Ching and Baby Maya, they officially have their YouTube channel and they have officially made their first video. Um, their morning routine. That was that's their very first video. So for everybody that got kids, you know what I'm saying, go check it out. Like I say, it's not for me. It's not my channel. It will not be about me. I'm not boss man vlogs on that channel. I'm not wheezy on that channel. I'm daddy on that channel. You know what I mean? So Let's start this video. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Make sure you like the video. Hit the thumbs up. Let's start this video. Slow down, squad. When I tell you to slow down, I'm gonna need you to slow down. You hear me? And today, all right, look. It's like 100 degrees out here in Merlin, man. Y'all comment down below, let me know if it's hot in y'all motherfucking state, man. Let me know. But listen, I wanna say this. A lot of people always be trying to figure out where this dog went and where that dog went, and why this, and why that. All right, listen, when I first jumped into this dog shit, I didn't know it was as big as it is, no homo. When I first jumped into this dog shit, I just thought it was just, you know, same shit. Once I learned how this dog shit really worked, I wanted the best, you know what I'm saying? So when y'all be trying to figure out like, well, why he get rid of this this dog? Why he get rid of that dog? Listen, if the dog ain't right, I, what the fuck I'm gonna keep the dog for? You see what I'm saying? Right, so let's start with, why you get rid of Ivy, boss, man? After Ivy had two litters, she became an aggressive dog. She was aggressive to the family. Why we gonna keep a dog that, all the kids that I got, why I'm gonna keep a dog? Now, I already know what y'all gonna say. Boss, man, you don't gotta explain yourself. No, I do have to explain myself. 
Why do I have to explain myself? Because people actually be wanting to know what happened. You know what I'm saying? That a, a person asking me a question like that, that's not a hater. A nigga's not hating because he wants to know what happened. You know how y'all always do, man, boss, man, fuck the haters. No, that's not a hating question. Boss, man, what happened to the dog? That's not a hating ass question. Nigga want to know what happened. So I do have to explain myself. You have to explain yourself. That's a part of life. You, that's a part of life. Explaining yourself is a part of life, nigga. And I'm not a nigga who, I'm not a nigga just running around acting like nigga I don't give a fuck about nothing. If I'm giving y'all content and I'm teaching niggas and I'm motivating niggas, then I owe these niggas an explanation on why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, Bam, uh, 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 Ivy became aggressive. We had to get rid of her. Y'all think about Coco. Coco, I wanted a pocket. I was entering, I was, I was starting a journey buying a pocket. I said I want every, I want a blue and every category. Blue and every category. So my next category was a pocket. I got rid of Coco because she, 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 she barked too fucking much. Then, two, this is the biggest reason why I got rid of Coco. She had this, the, this, this some type of disease with her where she could not produce. So there's definitely no reason I'm keeping her. Boom. The fucking chocolate trimural. Chocolate trimural was supposed to be this kind of dog, but it wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't what she was supposed to be. So I can't do nothing with the dog. She was. A, she was supposed to be an XL. She was tall and skinny. I, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for what the fuck you told me the parents was. Y'all be asked, why you get rid of Hancho? Hancho. Now, Wavy, Wavy. You know, Wavy don't fuck with me no more. But you know, I still fuck with him because I don't. I, I. He didn't do nothing to me for me. You know, not to fuck with him. But y'all remember Wavy, the light-skinned nigga with the glasses in the military and shit, you know what I'm saying? But Wavy, I remember Wavy would always get on a live and he would always talk about what the dog is supposed to look like and how the dog is supposed to be. My nigga, if your dog got Easty Westy, you got Easty Westy on your dog, that ain't right, bro. So, Hancho had Easty Westy. I know y'all was, oh, well, boss, man, you could have just this and you could have just that. Nah, nigga, you couldn't have did nothing. You couldn't have did that. You can't change that shit. Put the bow higher and make the bows, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, that's that's what it is, bro. That nigga had Easty Westy. He wasn't looking like what I was looking for when I bought him. Why I get rid of Hennessy? Another dog was supposed to be an XL. She wasn't an XL. I thought I was buying an XL. She came out small on the pit bull side. She was smaller than Zeus. She wasn't what I what I was supposed to have. And she motherfucking and she motherfucking didn't give me not one fucking Merle. Same thing. In order for me to be the best, I wanna be the best in this shit. I wanna be a nigga, I wanna be a nigga that's looked up at and niggas is like that nigga got the best fucking dogs in the world. You can't have the best dogs in the world if you just settling for bullshit ass dogs. Now my dog, I be thinking that I'm buying good dogs. That's why I don't like to buy dogs till they like three, four months and they develop. A lot of the, the a lot of puppies that I had, they was fire puppies in the when they was first came out. See, that's another thing we learned. Stop saying, oh, this the puppy we gonna keep when the puppy is first born. Because that might be the biggest puppy when it come out the motherfucking pussy, but that's not gonna be the biggest puppy later down the line. So we learned this shit. Everything is, is a learning process. Why are you getting rid of money, boss, man? I got rid of money because money motherfucker was just dumb. That's why I gave money up. I don't need him. He can't do nothing for me. He can't do shit for me. Then come to find out, the nigga can't motherfucker produce. The fuck I'm going to do that for? So, with that being said, in order to be the best, you have to have the best. I got rid of money because, oh, and then come to find out, money's not a fucking producer. The fuck am I just keep, see, I'm not like, I'm not like a lot of you motherfuckers that do this dog shit. I don't keep a fucking dog, I don't keep a bunch of dogs off my litter. I will never be a motherfucking nigga that do that. I'm not gonna just buy a dog, just a motherfucking, I'm not gonna buy a dog and keep a dog just to give YouTube content. 
I'm not just buying a dog because I want a dog so bad and I want to be a part of something. I'm trying to get a dog and I'm trying to be the fucking best. And if I don't have the best dogs, I can never be a top tier. Do this shit for me. If I don't have the dogs, I will never be a top tier breeder. I will always be a low level breeder. A lot of you niggas are cool, content with being low level breeders. But whatever I do, I want to be the best at it. I'm not cool with being a low level breeder. Y'all, a lot of you niggas is. A lot of you niggas got bullshit ass dogs. A lot of you niggas keep the bullshit ass dogs. Y'all have litters. Y'all don't want to sell the dogs and go buy the top of the line dogs. Y'all want to y'all want to keep the dogs and then cry, like I'm not that's not me. I'm not here for that. I'm here I'm trying to see I'm trying to make 100 bands off every litter that I got. I'm trying to see 100 and I can't do that with dogs that ain't being what they supposed to be. You want to be the best, you have to have the best dogs. You can't be the best with bullshit quality. You can't. You can't. So, that's what it is with the dogs. You know what I'm saying? To the next scene. You know the motto. Guys, so who the fuck is you to me? Heard a nigga want kill me. That's the word on the streets. Only man I fear is God. So who the fuck is you to me? Heard a nigga want kill me. That's the word on the streets. Only man I fear is